we'll start with um Jack Leo and then go to uh Mike Griffin. Can we get some here too? Yeah. Sorry guys. Jack Leo and I just put Mike Griffith back in, so let's go to Dash your second. And coach, uh I know um Y'all did a lot of things well today. I know the final score wasn't what you wanted to be, but I wanted to ask you though, um, when you have guys who have been consistent with scores for you, you know, like like Jabri and uh Noah, and they don't have the best nights, how difficult does that make for your team? It's it's not about those two guys not playing their A game. It, it we've got to be better in other areas that are easier to control. That's gonna to continue to be my message to our guys, Dash. You're going to have nights where you shoot it well, and you're going to have nights where you, where you don't shoot it well. Um, Arkansas did a good job defending those two guys. Um, we had other guys step up offensively. I thought uh, Silas and Justin were really good. Uh, our live ball turnovers hurt us, 21 points off of turnovers. Um, our foul discipline hurt us. Um, that said, we did a lot of really good things. Um, I loved our effort. I loved our uh, the way that um, um, we continue to fight back in the second half, give ourselves a chance down the stretch. That's – step one uh, in winning on the road in the SEC. And we did that and we had a chance. Um, but uh, ask ask a lot of coaches out there winning um, in, in Bud Walton is very difficult. Just a real quick follow up on, on Dylan James real quick. He came and had a pretty good game today. Yeah. Yeah. Getting better and better. Um, he's earned it. He's earned opportunities to play. Again, there, we, we've just got so much parity in our front line. It's just um, – you try to give guys opportunities based on how they practice. And unfortunately, when he's out there, it means another guy's not out there. Or it means uh, it might be another front court player who's playing a few less minutes um, than uh, than he would like. But that said, you know, um, it's about um, producing when you're out there. And uh, he continues to get better. His attitude has been incredible all year. He goes and gets seven on the road, got his hands on basketballs uh, in our zone, was long, was active. He's going to be a good player. I'm just curious, uh, what was working for you guys there defensively um, when you started to shut them down, started to claw back into things? What was the change you guys made? Uh, we just – we got some stops um, off of our 1-3-1. One, one. I thought I thought it was really good. Um, it just slowed them down a little bit. You know, they're such a high-powered offense, and they've got several guys that can pass, dribble, shoot, space you, make plays off the bounce. And um, I, I thought that potentially it could um, – decrease our, uh, our our fouling um, amount. And um, they stepped on the sideline a couple times for us. Um, of course, um, it, it, it wasn't great. There's even things, you know, with our one three one with our zone that, that we'll try to clean up moving forward. But um, it certainly – it gave us a chance, you know, our guys' activity in it. And, uh, and they missed some for us, of course. But uh, they made the plays down the stretch that they needed to. I thought the pass – I don't know who made it, but Mitchell finished it. Uh, I had a great angle on it, you know, from the left slot near half court to the rim. Uh, Chua got a fingertip on it. And um, if we got a little bit more than a fingertip on it, it, it could have changed the outcome of the game. But uh, it was a great pass, great finish. And, uh, you know, credit Arkansas for holding on. Go to Jordan Hill and then Mike Griffith. Mike, this was another game where Arkansas had a lot of success scoring in the paint, 42 points, and several of those buckets late. Just Are there recurring issues you're seeing as far as this team's – the way you guys defend the paint? Yeah, all, all year. I mean, it's just – it's been a, a a huge deficiency of ours all year. Uh, we don't alter many shots. We don't block many shots. And that's why our, our margin for error defensively on the perimeter is is pretty slim. We talked about it all year, our gap discipline, our activity on the ball, our tracing of the ball, our closeouts, um, our, our our gambling or lack thereof. You know, we've just got to be really disciplined um, because uh, mistakes can be loud for us. Mistakes can often end up at uh, point blank layups. And, you know, for instance, Arkansas, we probably had four or five right there in the second half where we got guards going to the rim where you feel like, you know, they've got an angle and it might be an easy one and it's, and it's not an easy one. You know, their closing speed and length and athleticism um, on the ball, uh, you, you could see it. And you just got to continue working on it. And it, and it uh, goes hand in hand with our two-point uh, rim percentage deficiencies offensively. Um, we'll keep working on it. We do stuff every day to work on it. And, you know, it's easier to think you're getting better at it in the non-conference, but when one after another SEC, tall, long, big, strong opponent 
uh, comes at you, uh, you know, with intensity and especially on the road, uh, it often shows up. Mike, I, I want to ask about some personnel um, that I noticed the the plus minus in the first half. I know I'm, no, I'm kind of zooming in on one stat here, but mm -hmm. I think Silas was plus eight and I think blue yeah. was even, I think everybody else was negative. So I guess one, a two part question. I want to ask you about those freshmen coming in and, and giving you those positive plus minus minutes in the first half. And then two, I guess I'm just, you know, RJ scores 35 in one game and it just, Seems to yep. be such a non-factor, such an outlier game from a guy that looks so talented. If you could put that into some perspective. Yeah, I mean, uh, freshmen are playing really well. Love our freshman guards. Um, Blue um, continues to get better. Dylan James, we talked about already. Silas was probably as productive as we evaluate the film. That, that will be my guess um, as anyone on our team today, he was really good. Um, and you, you know, you're starting to take that for granted late in the season and, and you got to remind yourself, this guy's a true freshman, but to come in here and get 19, three assists, one turnover against that pressure that just continues to come at you with, with speed and depth um, is really impressive. RJ Melendez, uh, you know, we'll continue to give him a ton of opportunity. He's also fighting a couple other guys, um, you know, at his couple spots that he competes for minutes with, um, you know, when guys are out there and they're playing really well and they're producing, even if they're missing shots, I, I have no problems with that. You know, uh, for instance, I thought, um, I thought Jabri played really, really hard. I thought he was really active at the top of, uh, of our one, three, one. I thought he was flying around. Wasn't his night shooting the ball. Um, but that's going to happen, you know, um. But other guys, you know, will we'll continue to challenge other guys to control what you can control, um, be the best defender you can be, go to the offensive glass, um, and find other ways to contribute to winning. Go to Hank Tatum, the Red Lock. Coach, you got a week now uh, to get right against the Florida team that just beat Auburn today. Uh, what do you do this week to make sure you try and get back into the win column on Saturday? Well, we'll have to play as well as we played all year, the way they're playing. Um, you know, I was watching it in the coach's locker room before I walked out. That happened to be the game in, on, on TV, and I know it was a it was a big lead. I don't know what the final was as as our game was tipping. Um, we've got to regroup. I mean, um, just throw a cliche at you. I mean, we unfortunately we we um, we're off tomorrow. Uh, the NCAA mandates you, you take a day off. Um, I, I just can tip it up tomorrow because uh, we'll have all of our corrections of this game everything clipped up you know heck by the time we land um and we'll sit around all day tomorrow waiting on practice uh for monday and uh you know we'll probably do some talking do some film work um try to be creative within the week of maybe an additional day off um unfortunately again because we don't play till saturday but we'll have to play really well uh i'm sure there's not much that they're going to do differently, you know, than they did today, than, than they'll do midweek. Um, I don't know how much we can, we can change. Um, just try to get better at what we, at, at, at what we do, excuse me. Um, try to shoot it better, pass it better, defend better. Foul discipline's got to be better. Live ball turnover's got to be better uh, as we, again, play a uh, a team that's, that's going to go to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, we've got a couple of local reporters here, guys. If you guys want to ask a question, if you give us a name, 